but let's go ahead and get out right now Tony let's go I'm probably blocking him right there all right dude get out of the car get out of the car uh, repossessing it for the bank oh he wants to fight Tony Tony get him Tony use the stun gun come on dude oh he knocked my glasses off oh my gosh What's going on guys? Iggy Fresh here, back with another GTA 5 episode. Today we're going to be doing our third repo episode. A lot of you guys wanted to see it done at night. So Tony and I, we're going to be using this awesome flatbed truck. It's yellow in color and we have our tasers on us just in case, in case we get attacked by some of these crazies uh, since we are repossessing cars for Simeon things can go crazy guys things can go crazy especially people that don't make payments and they're irresponsible so we gotta we gotta be careful so we'll have our tasers on us just in case as a last resort we don't have any weapons for these kinds of episodes because it's just not gonna be fair or it's not gonna be realistic as well uh, and in case you guys are wondering I am still recovering from being sick over the weekend uh, I still have a little bit of a sore throat so I think you guys can possibly hear that um, but that doesn't stop me from recording for you guys so I don't want any interruptions uh, with my episode schedule so we'll continue doing this guys uh, but here we are we're pulling into Simeon's lot right here and we're gonna take our first job I don't think we have to get out of the truck but I like doing that anyways uh, let's go ahead and come over here okay all right get in the rapid GT that's the car get me the vehicle it should be on your GPS let's go ahead and check out the GPS they're on the freeway let's mark them right now okay all right let's go Tony let's go we got a job to do I love using this tow truck and this is our first episode at nighttime guys so I hope you guys can appreciate that should be pretty exciting oh yellow light can we make it no nope oh gosh almost just caused an accident <laughs> almost caused an accident uh, now when I do these episodes guys I typically try and follow the rules of the, the road here but sometimes I'm a little impatient and we may blow through a couple of red lights here and there but yeah I do love this tow truck or this flatbed I should say uh, you can yeah we'll get around these people here try not to wreck anything otherwise we'll be sitting here forever and you guys I'm sure don't appreciate that so here we are and I might might as well just take the time to answer some of your questions guys I am really amazed at how many questions I've received for a Q&A and I like doing these during these episodes and it gives you guys the opportunity to uh, to receive a shout out in a way so if you guys want to appear in my videos and you guys have a question to ask me just type that in the comment section down below I always review those and I have a couple of questions I'm going to answer today and so while we're driving to pick up our first vehicle I'll answer the first question and this one's from Alcanian underscore YT and he's asking what is your favorite episode of police mod and I assume he's asking me about my own episodes and uh, in that case I'm going to have to answer uh, it's probably going to have to be my recent bait car episode I really enjoyed it it's called why would you steal this and I just had a lot of fun uh, recording it and uh, yeah guys it, and it's weird how it works uh, the way YouTube works is I, I don't know sometimes I feel like some of my best episodes don't get any recognition 
and some of my probably not the best episodes they get blown up and skyrocket in views which which is astonishing to me I'm not sure how exactly that works sometimes I record an episode and I think to myself well this episode is not the best but here it is it's on the top chart so I don't know how it works guys but yeah some of my episodes are I think most of the uh, underrated episodes there are so all right are we getting closer I think so I think so I think we'll have to get on the highway here on the left hand side there we go there's no traffic let's go I wish this tow truck had lights on it that's one thing and somebody asked me can you put in lights on this tow truck and I wish I could have oh. but as you guys can see we do have automatic flatbed and it goes up and down all right all right I think I got the visual on the vehicle finally all right let's merge in traffic here not cause any accidents we're gonna try and pull out the uh, the driver of the car uh, which is uh, in front of us on the right hand side I think it's gonna be uh, this uh, convertible here yeah unfortunately there's no other way to get the car I tried following them around and they just drive in circles so that's very hard to do but let's go ahead and get out right now Tony let's go I'm probably blocking him right there all right Dude, get out of the car. Get out of the car. Uh, repossessing it for the bank. Oh, he wants to fight Tony. Tony, get him. Tony. Use the stun gun. Come on, dude. Oh, he knocked my glasses off. Oh, my gosh. All right, Tony. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Get out of here, dude. Oh, he still wants to fight. Holy crap, dude. And he got stunned again, dude. All right. Tony, let him go. Let him go, Tony. Let him go. He doesn't want to die. Oh my gosh. I think he just collapsed. Oh my goodness, guys. This is this is crazy. Things like this always happen to me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and dial 911. And we're gonna hopefully request a medic Hello, this over is here. What emergency service do you require? I require a paramedic Paramedics over here. Are en route to your current location. Thank you. So hopefully they'll be able to assist this guy. I do want to take this car and not damage it in any way. All right, he was listening to some nice beats. Nice beats. All right, we're gonna pull over here. Hopefully our tow truck doesn't disappear. Perfect, we're gonna pull right over here and then we'll grab our tow truck and get in front of this vehicle and load it up. Let's go, Tony. Oh, can we cross? Yes, yes, yes. I do hear the siren. We have the ambulance coming. Tony! Oh, watch out, dude. Come on. Get in the get in the tow truck. Come on. Yeah, there's the ambulance. I guess people die here if you uh, stun them too many times. That's kind of what happens here. All right, here we go. We can just park right here. What are these people doing? You better not try and steal my freaking vehicle here. All right, so what we'll do is we'll open up. Somebody's taking the picture of my tow truck. I know it's pretty. I know it's pretty, lady. All right, so what we'll do is we'll use the extended ramps and we'll load up this car and take it back to Simeon's lot. There we go. We got the ramps down. Let's go ahead and lower the bed of the truck. And this will do. Um, can we jump out? There we go. Let's go. We're going to just load up the car really quick. I know we're blocking traffic. There's so much traffic. It's like rush hour. Um, all right. Let's get in, Tony. And, oh, gosh. It's got a busted back end. Completely trashed. The taillight's gone. The window's busted in the back. We're not going to get that much money. We are not. All right. Let's load it up nice and easy. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna hook it up. Let's exit, there we go. All right, Tony, let's go. We need this car delivered in one piece. 
And we're going to lower this, get rid of the extra ramps. And that's that. I really do wish that this truck had orange lights, flashing lights. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't. It has, like, side runners. It's got lights in the front as well. Uh, they're, like, almost reddish. I do like them, but I wish we had some flashing amber lights. That would have been perfect. But let's get this vehicle back to Simeon's lot. And then we'll grab another vehicle. Let's see. What's the best way to get here? Just follow the GPS for right now. Going to try and obey traffic laws as much as possible. Especially when we have the vehicle on the back. I know I told you guys I wanted to uh, spice up delivery and maybe create my own custom logo for this truck. Some kind of like, uh, really guys? It's green light, they're just sitting here. Or it's green light for them. But you know what? I'm tired of sitting at these traffic lights. We're just gonna get going here. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, this vehicle doesn't support textures from what I could tell. So there's no way for us to create a Iggy Fresh towing logo or something like that that would have been really cool but we weren't able to do that but at the very least we can change up the colors of the tow truck for right now until I find another tow truck or something there's a nice variety of tow trucks out there and most of them well I think all of them come with the hook attached so you have to kind of uh, you know drag the car behind you and that creates a lot of problems other people hitting your car that you're towing it's just it's just a pain in the butt with this car it's so much better the car gets loaded in the back and you know AI drivers they recognize the flatbed so they don't ram you typically but you never know Oh, look at that. We got the green light. Green light. And yes, guys, I have another question that I'm going to answer as part of our Q&A. And that's going to be coming up in just a little bit after we drop off this car. Oh, gosh. One person takes a left. The other one doesn't. And oh, my gosh. Let's not lose the car. <laughs> That's one drawback of using this flatbed, is the bed of the truck sometimes just lifts up by itself. And that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay. Oh, I heard gunshots. Those are always fun. But today we're not police officers, clearly. We are not. Now, you know what? Let's go straight. Let's go straight. We're going to unload the car over here on the le left hand side. That's what I typically like to do. There's uh, a nice area for the uh, unloading of the vehicle right here. So let's go ahead and open up the ramps and we'll drop this car. There we go guys. We got the ramps out. Let's lower this thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to unhook the car and give it to Simon. Simon? Did I say Simon? Simeon. Oh, jeez. Do, 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 do. There's a gun range right next door. That's why you guys are hearing all these gunshots. Alright, here we go. Let's unmount this vehicle. Alright, Tony. Spot me. Don't freak out. Spot me. Watch out. Watch out. This beautiful car. There we go. Just a scratch. Just a scratch. Alright, I'm gonna drop it off without Tony. He can chill over here. We'll see how much damage we caused to this vehicle. Uh, it wasn't our fault, though. $198. I think that's the most uh, damage we've caused so far. And where's my freaking tow truck? It's gone. We're gonna need to get another tow truck, guys. All right, guys, so we got ourselves another truck, same exact one. 
Uh, I love doing this at night, guys. It's such a great atmosphere. Let's go ahead and start an, our next mission. Uh, Franklin, my boy, get me the vehicle. It should be on your GPS. It says, get in the bullet. All right, now we are heading out to pick up a different vehicle, and it appears to be in Vinewood Hills, which is a very rich area. So let's go. Let's go get the vehicle, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this simulation type play. I know some other YouTubers are doing this as well. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot of fun, guys. This is a lot of fun. Of course, I love LSPDFR mod, and that's really the main attraction of my channel. But every now and then, I like to take a break and just kind of like go to work and, uh, you know, help out. Help out people. That's what we're all about here. We are basically working for Simeon, and Simeon works for the bank. And we just, uh, we get vehicles of these customers that refuse to make payments to the bank. So, we're doing a good thing. Right, let me get around all these people. He's stuck in traffic for days over here. Alright, so our next question comes from Harsh. And he's asking, do your parents live with you? And let me lower my bed. There we go. Uh, my parents do not live with me. Uh, I have moved out. I do have a condo uh, that I have on my own. Oh, 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 oh. That was a little dangerous, but we made it through. Uh, but yeah, I do own a condo. It's more of an apartment. And um, maybe I'll do a vlog soon and I'll show you guys around. I'll do a quick tour of the condo. It's going to be really quick. It's literally one bedroom condo uh, with some living room space. Um, it's, it's a decent sized condo. It's not bad. Um, but I do enjoy living on my own. I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Uh, I have my own studio in here, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's nothing crazy, but I'll show you guys around, give you a little tour in one of my vlogs. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that as well. Uh, let me get around these people. This is absolutely crazy. Can we back up, maybe? Alright, we'll get around. We are going around these people. Alright, let's lower the bed of the truck. It keeps raising by itself. I don't know what really makes it do that. No idea whatsoever. Alright. It feels so awkward, like, breaking all these laws and rules after playing LSPDFR. Good cop version. Uh, simply because I obey traffic laws there. Uh, but here it's like I get a little annoyed and I pass by people the only thing is I don't like damaging property because at that point it's completely not professional like taking down poles I've seen other youtubers they're just flying taking down poles hitting trees pedestrians and things like that I still try and keep it professional will you know blow by a few traffic lights dude uh, here and there, but I still try and stay civil here But uh, I think we're pulling up on location And I forgot the car that we were trying to find was it a bison or something like that dude? Oh That's one of the richer guys over here. Okay. The vehicle is actually on the move it Just took a right right here, so it'll be easy to spot him Oh, 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 oh. That was close. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Watch out. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh, that's this car. That's like a Ford GT replica. Holy crap. That's a nice vehicle. We'll need to get him out somehow over here. Hopefully, he'll stop on his own or pull into. Oh, my gosh. Right now would be perfect because then we can uh, pull around and 
tow the car right here. Perfect. Let's stop him. Let's stop him. Let's get him out. Tony, let's go. Let's go. All right. How's it going, sir, ma'am? We are the repossession agents. We are taking possession of this vehicle. All right. <laughs> Tony, you deal with them. You deal with them. I don't want to damage this vehicle. Oh, my gosh. He wants to fight. Dude, get out. Get out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tony, stop. 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 Let's not kill him. Let's not kill him. Tony, relax. Tony, put away your weapon. Put away your weapon. Oh, my gosh. Let's not. No. Oh, my God. That's another guy that passed out. How do they die from a taser? But I don't know. I guess if you tase him a billion times, that will happen. So here we go again. Yeah, now I need to call paramedics. Uh, what else is new? Alright, here we go. 911, what is your emergency? Uh, this is uh, Repo Agent Iggy Fresh. We just tased Hello, somebody. Hello, this is 911. What emergency service do you require? I require Thank a you. paramedic. Paramedics Thank are you. en route to your current location. Alright, perfect. Alright, yeah, this vehicle is called the Bullet, and it's pretty freaking awesome. Let's get in our tow truck. And once I saw this area, this parking lot right here, it's like a scenic location where you can stop and observe. Look at this view, guys. At nighttime, just looks awesome. But it's the perfect spot for us to uh, tow this vehicle, load it up, and ready to go. Now, the goal is, I don't think this uh, this vehicle is damaged yet, so let's go ahead and get our extended ramps out. There we go, guys. We got the ramps ready to go. I hear the siren. I think the paramedics are coming. But check out this view, guys. It's so freaking sick. So freaking sick. Now, I lived in California for a little bit, for like a year over by Los Angeles but I never got to explore these areas and it's funny that I'm doing this in game right now absolutely crazy alright paramedics are here and they're leaving so I don't know what to do but I think this vehicle is so far untouched so if we can get it down to Simeon's lot without damaging it whatsoever that would be amazing so if we take it easy I think it's lined up perfectly and let's see if we can load it nice and easy I think we got this I think we got this guys I think so this is awesome alright Tony let's go don't touch this car if we can deliver this car without any damage whatsoever that will be our very first delivery Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of the ramps. Awesome. Let's look up our path to back to the lot here. And we'll follow this this way here. I do enjoy this uh, this tow truck. It's it's great. I know I keep saying this, but it's awesome. I think once it's on top of the car, once the car is on top of the truck and it's hooked. I think it's literally impossible to damage the car unless I flip the tow truck. That would be a big no-no. But, yeah. Alright, let's head back and... Yeah. I think I can answer one more question while we're driving back. I know someone asked me if I had any brothers or sisters. I forget who it was, but I'm gonna... Uh, include the screenshot of the question down below so you guys can see it. Uh, to answer the question, I do have one brother. He's a little bit younger than me. Uh, and he is 25 years old. So that kind of gives you an idea of how old I am. I'm a little older than 25. Which I think you guys probably could have guessed that. But, yeah. Just a simple fact for you guys. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we're gonna blow through this traffic light. And how far is this thing? You know, I wish 
the GPS in the game would show the distance to the waypoint, but it doesn't. So, well, we are driving through some of the uh, scenic areas here, which is very nice. And a lot of you guys do prefer night episodes, which I found a little surprising because to me personally, I like playing during the day. But now that I've started playing at night, I actually started liking it. And I don't do like a crazy like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I do it uh, maybe like 11, I think it's around 11 o'clock now. Uh, just so it's not pitch black, but it's still, it's still pretty dark. I think these are ideal conditions here. And uh, yeah. Come on, people, move. I want to drop off this vehicle. I want to see if we can actually unload this vehicle. Oh, dude. I hope that did not cause any damage to this vehicle. I was going to say, I want to see if we can unload this vehicle without damaging it. This will be our first, if it's possible. And uh, if Simeon doesn't deduct any damage cost from our total here at the end, that will be our first record tow without any damage. Of course, a lot of the damage is caused by the owners themselves because they don't know how to drive. You know, they keep rear-ending people and hitting people. So when we pick up the car, a lot of the time, it already has the damage caused to it. But let's go ahead and open up the ramps and uh, we'll see if we can unload it safely today. There we go. We got the ramps down. Let's unload the car. And... This angle is pretty steep, guys. I think that's part of the reason why we are struggling sometimes. But let's go ahead and get in the vehicle. And another problem is sometimes it's very tough to line it up perfectly. And I think we're doing good so far. Yeah, we're doing good. And that's another problem is Tony keeps trying to get in the freaking... Oh, God damn! <laughs> so much for that. We got the door ripped off. Oh my gosh. Tony kept pushing the car. He kept trying to get in and got us off track here. We lost the door. The rams broke off. Oh my god. And here I thought we were going to deliver this car nice and fresh. Well, maybe next time. Maybe next time. The cost was only $102, better than last time, but unfortunately, that's a lot of damage. Thanks a lot, Tony. You're fired, buddy. Well, look at the front end damage, too. The lip is scratched, the front bumper is scratched, the door is missing. One day, guys, one day on the next episode. Ah, my tow truck is gone. Alright guys, so we got another truck, but uh, I'm going to end today's episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Once again, if you guys want to receive a shout out and you guys have a question, let me know and type up your question in the comment section down below. I do pick some of the top questions and I try and answer them all uh, in the uh, kind of like a dead zone throughout the episode. Um, so... Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do want to do another episode like this and next time we'll try and not damage the car. My goal is to eventually deliver one car without a scratch and that don't have any deductions from the damage. So thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.